right, let's talk about window treatments, which means the things you use to decorate the windows, pretty much. Uh, curtains, blinds, or not blinds, well, yeah, blinds, draperies, valances, cornice, whatever. So we'll start today with all of these soft window treatments because there are more of them than there are hard window treatments. So everything you're learning in this video is a soft window treatment. I would definitely label your paper soft window treatments right now. So the first one we've got here are draperies. And as you're writing these things, if I have something highlighted, then you should also highlight it because those are like some very good keywords. Um, because window treatments are something that they're very similar to each other. They just have very few things that make them different from each other. So that's basically what I've highlighted. Um, draperies. There are long panels of heavier fabric. Um, they are usually lined to protect the decorative fabric and provide insulation, light control, and privacy. Oof, so let's talk about that. Um, lined means that they have an extra layer of fabric on the back that helps protect this pretty front part because the front is usually made of something very artistic, very high quality, much thicker, um, hand woven potentially even. Um, so it just helps like keep it safe pretty much. It also makes it seem heavier or it actually is heavier, not just seem heavier, but it helps with making them look even heavier than they are. That's a better way to put it. Um, it also helps insulate, which means keeps hot or cool from coming through the door or whatever window they're covering. Um, it helps with light control because that's like two layers of fabric blocking out light instead of just one layer. Um, and for the same reasons, that also helps with privacy um, because window treatments that are not completely solid, you'd be able to see through them and you might not want people to be able to see through them. So that is important for them to be pretty thick. Um, the last bullet point here under the time, I don't know if that shows on your screen or not, but um, is that typically draperies are going to pull on the floor a little bit. And what that means to pull on the floor is see how they're kind of longer looking than they need to be. So they, they kind of sit on the floor a little bit. Well, that means to pull on the floor, kind of like a waterfall, you know, where it hits like the river. Um, it's got like the bunch up of water. Um, so that's something that's typical of draperies. It kind of just emphasizes the idea that they're heavy. You know, they make them a little extra long. It makes them um, look like they're so heavy, they're just like dripping onto the floor. We know that's not the case, but it like really emphasizes like heaviness of them. The lighter version, um, kind of the medium version of that would be curtains. Um, so they are similarly, they're big panels of fabric, but they're not lined on the back. It's just one layer of fabric. And the fabric is usually something pretty lightweight, pretty pretty cheap, pretty standard. Um, it's not some fancy, thick, artistic version of fabric. Um, and they can be window length or floor length. And I guess I forgot to put a picture of a window length one. Um, both of these pictures are floor length, meaning the bottom of the curtain touches exactly where the floor is or just above the floor, right that, right there. That's right above the baseboards. Um, a window length one would be where the curtain would chop right here at the windowsill. That's as far down as it would go. So if you come to school, um, the the black curtains on my window are uh, their curtains. Um, they're also window length. So comparing these two to each other, are these drapes or are they curtains? Which one, the left or the right, is drapes and which one is a curtain? And how did you know that? Um, one of these definitely pulls on the floor. One of them looks heavier than the other. One of them um, only touches the floor, doesn't look as heavy weight, definitely looks like a little cheaper. So which one is which? Hopefully you said curtains are on the right and drapes are on the left. Oh, captions, that's a thing. Hmm. 
Um, I don't know what just happened. So cafe curtains, um, they are little curtains that only cover the bottom part of the window. Like you would typically see them in a little cafe, um, like in Paris, it would be like the most common place where you would see cafe curtains or maybe at a diner, somewhere like that. They're usually used in kitchens or in a breakfast area, not really anywhere else in the house typically. Um, so these are obviously in a kitchen, um, and these are obviously in a little breakfast area. And their purpose here, like usually I get students who are like, why, why would you even bother? That is silly. Um, but the purpose is you can have privacy. Like if you were standing here doing the dishes and you didn't want your neighbor staring at you, you could you could close your little curtains um, and they couldn't see you anymore. But the top part of your window is still open, so you're still getting natural light in. And some people just like the look of it. Then we have shears, and they kind of like, we've taken it from drapes to curtains, and now we're going to shears, where it's kind of like the cheaper, thinner um, version of all these things, and they get more see-through, more see-through, and more see-through, till we have shears. So shears are translucent fabric. Translucent means you can see through it. Um, they can be used alone just to like obscure a view, like to make your view kind of fuzzy. Like if someone was behind some shears, you might be like, yeah, there's a person back there, but I can't tell like who it is or what they're doing exactly. Or you could use them under draperies or curtains to create a layered look, which I think is, I like that better. Um, cause you know, I'm borderline tacky. So I have that in my classroom. So again, if you're a person who comes to school, the white shears on my window are shears and they're kind of used with, um, I have curtains flanking them on each side. So shears let in a lot of light and that's one of their positives if you want a lot of light in a room. But if you're trying to like darken a room so you can sleep or something, then shears are not what you want to get for that. Um, but if you, if it's just like a dining room or a living room, like you're not sleeping in that room, but you still want to obscure your view some and not let your neighbors like look at you through binoculars all the time, um, then shears would be a great option for those rooms. Next up, we've got shades. Um, my lines got goofy. I'm sorry. So anyways, we have several different types of shades. Um, we have Roman shades, accordion shades, shades, roller shades, and then there's some other like random shades, but we don't really, we're not learning about them. Um, but Roman shades look like this. So they kind of look like they like bunched, like they've curled up as they come down the window. And that's just what they look like. So when they're all the way pulled up, they're very bunchy looking, but they're kind of pretty looking. Um, when they're down like this. This would be a solution if you wanted a pattern on your windows, but you didn't want like free flowy shears or curtains on them. Um, because in close quarter windows like this is around this breakfast nook, I mean, curtains would be a little, a little cumbersome, you know, like you'd feel like they're kind of taking over you like monsters. Um, so Roman shades are good for something like that. Accordion shades are these, um, and you literally fold them, you know how like you folded paper to make a paper fan back in the day, um, it, that's basically what it is, they're folded like that, and they, they zip up on a string, string and, um, and they sit at the top of the window in this little, this little nook right here, or they can come down and cover the window, um, but they're called accordion when they fold back and forth and make that zigzag, and they block out some light, um, but they still let in light too. So that is, those are some characteristics of accordion shades. And then we have the roller shade, the bottom picture. Um, they literally roll up like a rolled up piece of paper. That's it. They're usually made of some type of vinyl. Um, and we know what vinyl is now after doing floors. Um, a really, really, really thin vinyl that can roll up. And they will totally block out all the light in a room if you want them to because they, they're not a see-through material. And they almost go like uh, window edge to window edge. So that just blocks out the light. Um, we also have shades. You know what? Never mind. Um, so the function of shades is to block out sunlight, but not have them be like cumbersome and flowing like curtains would be. 
Now we have valances with a letter V. Not like balance beam, but valance with a V. Um, and they can kind of come in a couple different styles. But they are like a reverse cafe curtain almost. So that might be a way to think of it. And they are shorter pieces of fabric that cover the top part only of a window. So this is just a valance over like a kitchen window. So this is when you don't want to block the whole window, but you still need some type of decoration up there so it doesn't look unfinished. Um, you do not have this picture here in red. They could be used in combination with other types of window treatments if you want them to be, which is what's happening here. So they have this type of valance. Um, it's called an ascot valance. And an ascot is that like white fluffy thing that like you picture George Washington wearing um, like under his chin, like where a bow tie would go, except for it was just like this big white poof of fluff. That thing is called an ascot. Um, so you can see a similarity here of like the drapey poofy fabric, and that's why it's called an ascot balance. Um, but you can see it's used like in combination with these shears behind it. And this used to be a very popular thing to do in like the 80s and 90s, and thank goodness it is not now. Um, also a fun thing that was popular in the 80s and 90s, which you could totally Google right now because I'm not dare going to put it on my slide, is a balloon balance. So the concept of a balance, like just being at the top, but balloon balance. Oh, it's terrible. They would literally stuff them with newspaper to make them poofy. Terrible, terrible, terrible design time. And that is the last soft window treatment. So have fun Googling balloon balance um, and be sure you answer the questions that go with these. Um, or maybe you're taking a picture tonight. I don't remember. Just look for the assignment and do it. Thanks.